How's it going everyone? It's Alex with AC Flips. I'm a full-time six-figure Amazon seller and today's video is going to be a two-part series. The first part, which is this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Keep a Product Finder filter to get you from, you know, the vast number of products all the way down to a couple thousand so you can narrow down a search that'll help you find some profitable leads. And in the second video, I'm going to actually open up that search, look at some of the leads, and hopefully we can find some products to source profitably. Let's not waste any time and jump right into the video. All right, so we have Keep a Product Finder open here. We are just going to go through all of the different filters that I like to select when searching for products to source. Um, and what specific category we're looking at today is going to be the patio, lawn, and garden. It is summertime. A lot of these products are selling a little bit faster than they would normally uh, when it's not the summer months. So hopefully we can narrow this down quite a bit, get ourselves in front of, you know, a thousand products or less. And we're going to do that by uh, sorting out some filters. So let's start with the sales rank. Um, ideally for patio, lawn, and garden, I believe uh, if I were to check Jungle Scout, we want to probably stay under like 100K. Uh, so currently we're going to go under 100. Uh, and then 30 day average, I guess we could go 100 as well. Uh, if we go any higher than that, then we might start catching pre prior to summer months, right? If we go an average of 100K prior to summer months, we're going to miss out on some of the products that are a little bit higher rank in the spring. And then they actually drop in rank once the summer hits because, of course, they're patio, lawn, and garden. They're, they're more used items in the summertime. So we're going to leave it at that. Uh, the buy box, again, we I like to really filter out some of the low products. I'm not looking at uh, specifically you know, small and light products, so I'm gonna try to go for a minimum of a $20 buy box, um, down to 6,700,000 products. So uh, again, if we go any lower than this, right, then you start to run into issues of you gotta find stuff for like under $5 for it to be profitable. Uh, so we're gonna give ourselves a little bit more room here. If you wanted to, you could go, you know, a minimum of 25, what I've done in the past, but I'm gonna stick to a minimum of 20 here. Uh, Amazon, we're not gonna mess with the out of stock. Uh, we'll mess with that a little bit later. And that's basically it for that first section. We're not doing any used prices, you know, none of that really matters here. Uh, so we're gonna scroll all the way down to the category now. This is gonna really filter down. Uh, so we're gonna, again, go look for patio, lawn, and garden. Here it is. Uh, and then we can see now there's under a million products. So uh, one good thing here is if we wanted to, we could include any categories, like if we wanted to do you know, gardening tools, if we wanted to do um, anything specific in this category, uh, we could do that. But again, I don't know enough about the category to want to filter down any further than that. Um, so we're just going to leave that blank for now. Again, if you knew any brands that you knew are good for reselling, you can type that in here, but that's gonna narrow it way down way too much for us, so we're gonna skip that part. Okay, so now we come down to offer count here, and offer count's interesting because there's not, in my experience, there's not a ton of wholesale products in this category, and maybe I just haven't looked at the right products. I have been looking at mostly products from like 15K up to 100K, um, but again, like we would in most categories, we're gonna select a minimum of three or four, I'm going to go four here because if we go any less than that, then there's either going to be the brand. We can eliminate the brand being on it, just Amazon being on it. Um, you know, a lot of these products that could be wholesale that only two or three sellers are on. So four hopefully gets us into that, you know, online arbitrage product uh, portfolio. And already look at that. We're already down to 14,000 products. So let's see, what did that do if we went from no limit? Yeah, so, so we're narrowing this down a ton. So maybe a lot of products in this category are that wholesale or Amazon just sells a lot of these products. So starting with four, uh, if we wanted to really narrow down like a, a lot of products that don't have a ton of sellers on it, we could cap the 30 day average at like 20 sellers, right? Um, and we can see that didn't do a ton, but that eliminates some of those like 50 plus, you know, sellers over the last a average. Um, but right now we're just minimizing basically no less than four sellers in the listing, no more than 20 over the last 30 days. So um, again, it didn't remove a ton to add that 20 there, but uh, just eliminates some of the outliers that we probably wouldn't look at anyway. So that's everything for the offer count section. So let's keep scrolling down here um, to refine our search even more buy box sellers. We could post in some seller IDs if we really wanted to. Um, I'm just going to keep it open here. 13,000 is good, but I think we can narrow that down a little bit further. 
So now we're gonna scroll down to this section here, 90 days out of stock percentage. This is Amazon, we wanna go from 75 to 100. This is basically going to eliminate all of the products that Amazon is currently selling, uh, you know, more than 25% of the time in the last 90 days. So hopefully this gives us mostly products that Amazon isn't, we're not worried about Amazon actually being on the listing or taking over the listing. So uh, hopefully a bunch of listings that Amazon isn't even on in the first place. Um, if we really wanted to, we could uh, eliminate some of the low rating products. And one reason for that, there's not a ton of them, but every once in a while you'll find a product that has a, a lot of bad ratings because the listing could be inaccurate, right? Maybe it's like, it's it's not super clear, but it's actually a two pack. So some of the users were expecting a two pack, but the people you know sourcing the product think it's a one pack. So, and maybe it's more profitable as one pack. So. A lot of times, um, you know, you'll get a lot of bad reviews or bad ratings for that product. So we can eliminate, you know, three is pretty, I mean, that's, you know, almost halfway. So we can eliminate, and again, it only eliminated like five or 10 products. So um, hopefully a lot of these have a decent amount of good ratings. Uh, similar thing we can do with review count. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that right now because we don't really wanna narrow that down too much. One thing that's interesting because there are a lot of heavy tools in the patio lawn and garden category or if we're talking like mulch or stuff like that, we don't want a bunch of heavy products. So we can set a max limit on the actual package weight. So that's what I'm gonna do. So after doing the conversion, uh, 10 pounds is kind of my max here, is gonna be 4,500 grams. So right around there. So hopefully that eliminates, yeah, that eliminates almost 2,000 products. So. There were plenty of heavy products in there. If we really wanted to narrow it down a little bit more, um, I can go with five pounds and that's 2,200 grams here. So it just gives us a rough estimate, but hopefully eliminates some more products. Okay, now we're under 3,000. We're getting really close here. Um, but that's really all of the things that I want to uh, set for here. So basically just recapping this quick, uh, we're looking at products that have a current sales rank of 100,000 or less, and then a 30 day average of 100,000 or less. This eliminates some of those products where you see that are you know fluctuating between 100K and 200K. Um, and then it just happens to be in a dip at the current. So it's, you know, the average is like 150 or 170, but just currently it's at 100K. Those products sell a lot slower, obviously. So we do want to select some sort of average to eliminate some of those products that is just in a dip. Uh, you know, you see that often with really slow moving products. It fluctuates between you know, a decent rank and a really high rank. So hopefully putting the average uh, for the last 30 days eliminates a lot of those outliers. And then for me, this is preference. I like to search products that have a buy box of $20 or higher. This eliminates uh, the need for small and light and it also eliminates, you know, the products that you're gonna need to find so cheap to be profitable. Again, if you're looking for a $20 product, uh, to flip that profitably, you basically have to find something for like under $7 around there uh, with fees and everything from Amazon to be profitable. So we don't wanna get too much lower than that because a lot of products in most categories are hard to find for $7 or less. So and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the root category section. Again, we're looking at patio, lawn, and garden here. Um, we're gonna keep scrolling and then go to the offer count section. We're gonna look for a minimum of four. We wanna eliminate all the products that Amazon is only selling. Uh, that the brand is only selling and then eliminate some of those products that maybe only a couple wholesalers have access to. Uh, but then again, we did set a limit of the 30 day average of being less than 20 sellers just because we want to eliminate some of those products that have a super high offer count. Not saying that that's a bad thing in a lot of categories, but um, it didn't remove a ton of uh, products in our search. So again, we're just eliminating some of those outliers. We don't want to look at things that's going to waste our time. We want to find products that are we can efficiently get through that aren't going to be a waste of our time. So that's what these searches are hopefully doing for us. Now we can scroll all the way down to the 90 day out of stock percentage. Uh, and the only filter we're selecting here is Amazon being out of stock at least 75% of the time. That way we can hopefully find products that we're not worried that Amazon is going to take the buy box or jump on the listing because they're not historically on this listing often. Uh, one small thing that's also preference, I put a rating minimum of three. So uh, that way we're eliminating some of those really bad rated products. And sometimes those products involve you know, mismatch uh, of what they're getting versus what they're expecting. So can eliminate a couple of those products. Scroll down and the last thing we wanna do, and I suggest this in a lot of different categories, is to set a weight limit. We don't wanna be selling super heavy products because one, it might you know add for storage fees. It's gonna be hard for a prep center to pack um, and, and stuff like that. So I basically set a, a weight limit of, this is 2,200 grams, which equates to about five pounds. I don't really like to deal with super heavy stuff and 
you know, there are there is some equipment that's probably in this category that could be super heavy. So um, it did remove a couple thousand products. So we are going to only be looking at lighter products that are hopefully have a buy box of over 20 and, you know, a rank of under 100,000, which can be pretty good, especially during the summertime in this category. So now we have a list of just under 3000 products that we can slowly get through and hopefully find some gems, or you can send all 3000 of these products to one of your VAs and have them scan through it over time. All right, so hopefully this video gave you a little bit more experience with using Keep a Product Finder so you can set up your own searches when trying to source for profitable leads. If you guys found this video helpful, stay tuned for part two when I'm actually gonna use the filter and hopefully source some profitable leads for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in part two.